All right, this is pretty interesting, so follow closely. Um, Minion Moore, a woman who's a longtime aide to Bill and Hillary Clinton, she recently joined Hillary's campaign. She now holds a position as a top advisor there. But this isn't the first time Ms. Moore has been involved with Hillary's campaign efforts. In 2008, this woman was the link between Hillary's failed presidential bid and the illegal shadow campaign finance operation tied to Hillary. That so-called get-out-the-vote operation in 2008 used more than 600,000 off-the-books money, of course, to pay people to help turn out votes for Hillary. Take a look. The president is a fan of playing hearts on the plane. And it really is borderline an obsession. Most people are afraid to play with them because they know they're going to lose. So you see this piece of paper? It says, Mignon won. She won. 7 23 1999. So I'm telling everyone, all you have to do is focus. Don't get nervous. You can win. I haven't spent the past 35 years in the trenches advocating for children campaigning for universal health care, helping parents balance work and family, and fighting for women's rights here at home and around the world to see another Republican in the White House. Joining me now is research director for the Republican National Committee, Raj Shah. Raj, good to see you again. Thanks for having me on today. Of course. All right, Raj, talk to me about this illegal uh, campaign finance scandal that was attached to Hillary Clinton's campaign in 2008. What exactly happened then? Yeah, well, back in 2008, uh, Minion Moore, who was a field organizer and, and leading their field efforts in a bunch of primary states, uh, basically recruited a uh, Clinton fundraiser who ended up paying uh, north of $600,000 in illegal uh, straw donor contributions to help fund this effort in Texas and several other states. And this same donor, his name is Jeffrey Thompson, was involved in a similar project, uh, an illegal effort to help elect the mayor of uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, Minion Moore, in his case, was actually an unindicted co-conspirator, and, um, you know, she was involved in this illegal scheme. Um, the fact that she wasn't charged uh, shouldn't speak to kind of her lack of um, culpability here. And the fact that Hillary Clinton uh, chose to hire her for the 2016 campaign with that ethical record um, speaks volumes to uh, Mrs. Clinton's judgment and speaks to her decision making. Right. And Ms. Moore, I think it is a reflection on her character, on her ethics. Raj, forgive me if this is an obvious question, but clarify just once more, what, 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 illegal, what was illegal about uh, the operation in 2008? What was the actual illegality? So the illegality here was that these were donations made in excess of what is allowed under federal law by the Federal Election Commission. And so rather than uh, make the, uh, contributions legally, they essentially made them in excess and never reported them. Um, and Mr. Thompson has done this in several campaigns. Uh, he was arrested uh, soon after and pled guilty to several charges. And Minion Moore essentially orchestrated this. She recruited uh, Thompson uh, to, to uh, engage in this effort. And, um, you know, she's actually named in his indictment. So she knew what he was doing. She knew that he was creating these straw donors, uh, helping people donate more than is legally allowed? I would say more than just knew. Uh, she was sort of the architect of it. She uh, found a field program that the campaign did not want to fund with its existing fundraising operation. So she uh, recruited uh, Mr. Thompson for, to make these illegal donations. Um, she was, you know, part of this illegal conspiracy. Why wasn't she indicted then? Well, I mean, that's, the, that's at the discretion of the prosecutor. And, you know, the donation itself uh, is the crime. Um, so, it, you know, you know I, I couldn't speak to that. But she is named in, in this case. And um, I think it certainly speaks to Hillary Clinton's judgment to have somebody who clearly was aware of what was going on um, as part of her campaign this time around, having, you know, that record and that track record. Right. Uh, in your opinion, why, why did Hillary hire her this time, knowing that she has uh, this, this tarnished record, knowing she has this association uh, with illegal operations? Why hire her? Well, I mean, it's part of a track record when it comes to Hillary Clinton, whether it's Sidney Blumenthal, whether it's other uh, lobbyists or associates. 
um, you know, she has a long record of pra uh, praising loyalty and, and, and having, um, you know, p placing a priority in loyalty. And so she doesn't care less, uh, she cares less about the ethical uh, decision making and judgment of these folks and more about whether they're going to support Hillary Clinton and help her. Sure. Now that this story broke, now that uh, media like you and I are talking about this, do you expect the Clinton campaign to have any comments on this, or are they just going to go on business as usual? I would expect them to go on business as usual. This um, this um, hire was not a shock because Miss Moore was involved in Hillary Clinton's planning. But uh, you know, during the Jeffrey Thompson uh, case in 2014, and as charges were brought. Um, and, and Ms. Moore's close relationship with the Clintons was discussed at the time, uh, it didn't really seem to phase Hillary Clinton and her political operation. This hire just seems to be part and parcel with the judgment and ethical decisions that she's made. Well, it certainly seems like uh, we should be keeping an eye on this woman to see what she does uh, in Hillary's campaign the next few months. Uh, Raj, I appreciate you coming on the program. It's always great to talk to you. Uh, coming up, influential conservative Eric Erickson says Republicans should apologize to Bill Clinton for impeaching him. Find out why next with Megan Barth.